I'm Frank Furness and I'm an international speaker, keynote speaker, trainer and consultant. And over the past 20 years, I've presented in 62 countries. And what I really speak about is sales, customer service, social media, goal setting, and how they all work together to get you great sales results. There have been some massive changes I've seen over the past 10 years, especially with the real influence of the internet. And my presentation is all about sales insights. This is my latest presentation and it's really about developing your sales strategy. When we think about it now, what are the benefits of modernizing your sales force? What are some of the things that they need to be doing to take them to the next level? Well, we've got to understand the changes in the way that clients buy. In the old days, we were in control of the sale. Nowadays, clients are in control. They will go in, they'll do a website check, they'll do a LinkedIn check. They might even go and do a Facebook check. And if those drunken pictures are there, chances are they might not book you. We've also got to understand a thing called Boolean queries. Really, it's all about how to use advanced Google search strategies. Also, how to find endless targeted prospects for your business. Because the biggest challenge I find in presenting to most businesses is where and how do we find new clients? So we speak about how do you find endless targeted prospects and also looking at the advanced search engines that are available on LinkedIn, Facebook, all kinds of news and blogs. So let's take a look. We might have found a client and they're tweeting a lot. So we want to find out a little bit more about that client. And we can actually go in and find them on the Twitter search engine. There's the advanced search on Twitter. And you know, there's the same kind of thing on Facebook. If you go onto Facebook, you've got a little thing called You Got Social and it's got its own Facebook search engine. What about some other kinds of searches over here? If you want to do an advanced search on LinkedIn, they actually want you to pay and they want you to pay a fair amount of money, but I'm going to show you a resource where it will actually be free, where you can go in. And just to give you an example over here. So I spend half my year in United Kingdom, half in the USA. And let's say I wanted to find event planners for financial services conferences in London, but I'm not looking for weddings. So I'm going to exclude all of those. I go in, I do the search, and here's the results. Up come all of the people that I want to look for. The next strategy your salespeople have got to be doing is learning how to then hook in with those people via LinkedIn and send them the right kind of message that's going to connect with them. Not try to sell to them right up front because they're going to delete it, but rather to present yourself and come from a source of authority. If we have a look, here's another one that I did die in this one. I was looking for director or manager of events in England. And again, I've come up with 11,000 results. Now imagine if your salespeople out there can do the same kind of thing, know where to search for the targeted people, then go in, connect with them in the right way, start giving them great information, and then doing the follow-up. Here's a couple of other things that I've done over here. I travel all over the world. I do a lot of work in Asia. So I wanted to find out who the training manager was or the training managers at Manufacturer's Life in Singapore. And of course, I did a little advanced Google search or a Boolean search over here. And of course, yeah, we come up with all of these. The market is getting warmer, senior training manager. So if I wanted to connect, I'd go and I'd connect via LinkedIn. Because now, especially in Europe, we've got this thing called GDRP where we're not allowed to keep any details of any clients. But now I'm not doing that. I'm actually going into the internet, finding them. And of course, I'm allowed to connect with them on LinkedIn. And the same thing happens with your salespeople. Here are some of the other things that I did is I went in and I did an advanced Google search for um, doctors and dentists. In fact, this is where I went in first. I was putting in hospital plus manager plus London plus England plus looking for the purchasing manager and take a look at all of these lists that have come up here. Now, what I do is I teach your people what to actually put into the searches and how to find some of those clients. Let's take a look at what I found when I put this in and I go into some of these lists that have been given to me by Google. Well, here's one little list that I started with. And if we take a look here, I have the name, which I've just 
taken out there. I've got their phone numbers. I've got their addresses. I've got everything about them. So if I was looking for the procurement managers, just take a look at that there. I've got about 149 people that I can now go and connect with via LinkedIn and I can start building rapport with them. I did a different search and on this I wanted to find the attendees at a conference and guess what came up over here. I've got all of the names of the people. I've got what they actually do, their addresses. I've got their email address. I have all of the information about those people. Now again in the training I will be showing all of your attendees how to do this. So you can see there's two lists we've got straight away. The next search where I put in a Boolean search I was looking for the president or the manager or the CEO in the oil and gas industry and I was looking for an Excel spreadsheet. 63,000 results. Now I can go in and I can have a look at the list of participants and just playing around with this for a few minutes, take a look at what I found. Well, there's the first list I've come up with. I've got the names of the people. I've got their email addresses, which are so important. I've got their companies. I've got their position. 44 people immediately. I then went into another one, found another list over there. And it is that easy to do. If we go back here again, let's take a look at some of the other things your salespeople should be doing is finding email addresses. If you are going to mail them, well, here's another little resource that will connect you with anybody. If you put in the company name, chances are it's going to find all of the emails of everyone in the company. So that's the first part is how do we find the prospects? How do we find the people that we want to connect to? It's a whole new world and so much easier to do now. So wouldn't that be great if you're in sales or you have a sales team and they're finding your ideal customer? And that's really what you want. Identifying ideal prospects, sales opportunities, finding out all of the contact information, finding out emails, looking for the decision makers. And there's a whole lot of other valuable resources that I'll be showing you that will build great customer lists. The next thing the modern salesperson has to be doing is getting the right message across at the right time in the right channel, really hanging out where your potential clients are going to be hanging out. You've then got to be at connecting with them, attracting them, building your credibility. And the way you do this is through information, blogs, videos, a whole lot of other stuff. But you could do a blog and five people read it. So I also speak about the power of influencers. Where do you find the right kind of influencers for your industry? Because if they went in and they then promoted that blog, you could get 500, 5,000, 5 million people reading that same blog. We then also look at LinkedIn, which is really the modern way to connect with potential clients. And it's all about your personal profile. What are the things you need to do to attract and connect with clients using LinkedIn. There are five essential elements that you've got to be doing. Also, it's great for search engine optimization and using groups to share information is absolutely brilliant. Every time I have a new piece of information, I share it with 5.5 million people on LinkedIn. Now, all I want is the law of averages, a half a percent of people to either go and watch that video, read the blog, or take some form of action. Well, let me show you how this works. Well, I present on sales and technology, and I've got some big jobs where the companies have actually said to the event organizer, we need a sales and technology speaker. What do they do? They go to Google, they put it in, and if you then come down and take a look, I own the first page. Now, yes, some of the things you've got to be doing is you've got to have videos, and I'll show you again three essential elements that you've got to put into every video to get onto the first page of Google and, of course, YouTube. So if we have a look at that search term, I own the first page. You can see because I've got the images optimized. I've got my videos optimized. But here is an interesting thing. The third thing that comes up over there is my LinkedIn profile. So if your salespeople get all of their LinkedIn profiles, right, if we take a look at this here, that's my LinkedIn profile. And again, as I've said, there's five essential things that you have to do 
to get found by Google on LinkedIn. So some great strategies to find new clients, but also to help potential clients and Google find and promote you. Something else you have to be thinking about is reputation management because you know one bad tweet or one bad review can do so much damage to your business or somebody, one of your salespeople going out there making some stupid comments on Twitter or Facebook that can go viral. So what are you doing to protect your reputation? I also share some intelligent resources to find out what clients are saying about your company and your salespeople. Let's take a look at some of the stupid mistakes that have cost companies and executives dearly. Now this, I just went on to Twitter and I looked at some of the stupid tweets. I want my first daughter to be a girl. I mean, how can somebody even put that up there? Just found out that my birthday is the same day as I was born. I want to tell you if I'm looking to hire somebody and I go in and I find this tweet, I'm definitely not going to be hiring that person. Take a look at the spelling on this year. If Barack Obama is our president, why is he getting involved with Russia? Scary. I think the scariest part about having triplets is having to be pregnant for 27 months. This is crazy stuff, you know. These might be people working for you. What does it say about your company? How did Beyonce's album go to number one in 100 countries when there are only seven? Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, North and South America and Europe. Well, this is one really intelligent guy. This one, there was a huge story behind it. Somebody was trying to be funny, going over saying, I'm going to Africa. I hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white. This went viral. When she actually landed, there was, the press was there. And there was also a little message from her company telling her that her services were no longer required. So you've got to be thinking about reputation management. Really, selling is all about push and pull. Push is going out there, finding the right kind of people, connecting with them. The pull is while you're sleeping, attracting the kind of people that you want to find you online. So I also talk about some great free intelligence tools to analyze your website and a lot of other simple tools to see why your competitors are getting ahead of you in Google searches. Let's take a look at one of the tools. Well, here's a great little tool that will analyze how good your website is. And again, this is a friend of mine. He's got a great company called Westec. Went on, used this free little tool to take a look, but just have a look at the results you're getting over here. It's got an overview of everything over here, freshness, social interest, images, gives the overall score of 8.9, accessibility, experience, marketing. I mean, it's just brilliant. And yes, the other thing, top priorities for website improvement. And it goes into detail and shows the actual recommendations of what they should be doing. It's finding what your Facebook page looks like, how many likes you've got, your popularity. It's got your tweets on there. The amount of content, great content on this website, tells you what to do about the images. So it'll go in there and it actually shows you on each of the images what you might need to rename, what you might need to do over there. It actually shows you what it looks like uh, on the search, the meta tags over there. It will show you what some of the headings are, what people are finding. So this is a great little resource and I'll be sharing a number of these resources in my presentation. Sales Insights or Sales Intelligence also looks at social media, how and where to connect with clients, marketing insights, where to find low cost effective resources, how to use them, video insights, how, why and where to use video, low cost and free resources that will create awesome videos. I mean, just take a look at this video over here and see what you think this would have cost. There I have all my calls to action. Well, I want to tell you that little resource cost me under $10. And I'm going to share with you exactly where you can go to find these kinds of resources. Let's take a look at one other great resource that I'll be sharing with you and your salespeople on how to make videos with absolutely no knowledge 
at all. So what I've done over here is I've gone over to my blog and uh, please take a look at my blog. And I wrote an article here called Life After GDPR, How to Find New Business and Clients. And there it is. How do I turn that into a video? Well, let's go right over here and I want to show you one of the best resources I've found. First thing I've done is I've just imported that whole blog over here. And as I click on each of these paragraphs over here, it creates a video for me. So you see what's going to now go in. It's going to be putting the words into what will be a video. It's bringing in pictures and I can go in and I can bring in my own media. So I can go and find the media that they have. Let's say I prefer that piece of media. I could put that in. It changes immediately. Or I can go into my own business, find the right kind of media. I then go finish and I create that video. It's that easy to do. So there are all of these awesome resources that we should be using out there in sales to create more sales, create more profit. And at the end of the day, just enjoy life a lot more. Hey, this is Frank, and I would love to be speaking at your next conference and helping your sales team move forward, move into the new century, give them great, great tools. Please, to book me, call the Speakers Bureau or the agency that referred me, book with them, and I look forward to seeing you at your conference.